Welcome back to the Spartan Kids Base Camp. Today is day 14, and I have my special Spartan Kids with me. We got Charlie and Alex, and today we have a great class. We are going to work our dancer's pose. We have a good circuit, a battle, and so before we start, I'm gonna ask you to hit Watch Party on Facebook, share with your friends, your family, classmates, and teammates. Get them involved, get them moving, get them working to a happier and healthier life. And so before we start, we are going to say the Spartan Kids Pledge. So put your hands up and repeat after me, loud and proud. I. I. State your name. Promise to learn one thing in today's practice. Promise to learn one thing in today's practice. I promise to leave better than I started. I promise to leave better than I started. I promise to help somebody else do the same. And most importantly, I promise to have fun doing it. All right, let's get started. We got our jog circuit. Just gonna move back and forth. Pick those feet up, move those hands. There you go, just move back and forth. The body going, right? Go from zero, sitting down, maybe what to watching TV. Get up, move around. Let's do circles to the right. Job. Keep going until we get dizzy. Go the other way, get undizzy. Good. Now we're gonna do our lateral movement. So we're gonna do just our shuffle, side to side, back and forth. Move those feet. Good job. All right, a lot of sports use this movement. Just getting used to it. In our living room here. For us, we're in a barn. All right, now karaoke. One foot in front, then in back. Then switch it up, right? Front to back. Move it. Learn how to cross those feet without falling. Now you never know when you're gonna get tangled up in a sport, in life, in a crowded subway or something like that. Good. Now we're gonna work our balance. So we're gonna do one-legged hops on your right foot, back and forth. There you go, top back and forth. Move it around a little bit. Good job. If you fall down or drop your foot, pick it back up, just move side to side. Good job. Circles to the right. Circles to the left. Good, shake it out a little bit. Now we're gonna do our left leg. Hop on your left leg, forward and back. Work that ankle, work the calves. Good job, side to side. There you go, circles to the right. Circles to the left. Good, shake it out. Now we're gonna do our hip mobility. So we're gonna work our high knees. All right, ready, go. Pick those knees up. Good, Alex, there you go. Good job, good job, Charlie. I right, do our butt kicks. So knees down, feet up. Good job, keep it moving. That outside touches, knee in, feet out. There we go. Works our hip rotations, in and out. All right, knees out, feet in. Pick it up. There you go, doing great. All right, good, shake it out. Now we're doing level changes. 
pick up our dirty laundry, dog toys, right? When we go on a hike every morning, somebody just drops her coat on the ground. I have to drop down and pick up Alex's coat, right? All right, now we're gonna drop our butt all the way down. Do you put your coat on the ground? <laughs> no, never. Because every time you come back, it's on the hook, right? Yep, perfect, just like it's supposed to be. Good job, have fun with it. Move it around, side to side. Maybe do a 360. Nice. There you go. All right, now we're gonna do our skipping. So we're gonna level change up off of one foot. Chop. Pretend we're reaching for oranges, right? Maybe clementines, right? Apples. Good job. Now we're gonna jump all the way up. Try to touch your ceiling. Shoot that basketball, right? Spike that volleyball, do a 360. Whatever you want. If you go both ways, good job. Nice, good job. There you go. All right, now we are going to finish up with our foot fire sprints. So get ready to move those feet really fast. On your mark, get set, go. Move those feet. Make that monster in the basement hear you coming and break. You got 40? Whew. She was counting. I didn't know we were counting. Great job. All right, now we're going to move to our dynamic stretch. We're going to work our neck, neck rotation. Circles right, left, left and right to the ears. Up and down, look up, look down, up, move it around, look our wrists, right? Those wrists moving. Good. Shoulders, hop around, up and down, forward, backwards. Side to side. Good, now our hips. Right circles, left circles. Maybe side to side, push them out. Get that hip flexion. Good. Our knees. We're gonna go inside to out for a couple. I'm gonna go outside to in for a couple. Good job. I'm gonna go down to our ankles and toes. Roll those out, right to left, back and forth, right? Other foot, switch it up. Good job. Both ways. Good. All right, now we are going to do our kicks. So we're gonna do kick and twist. Kick and twist. Good job. All right, let's kick to the side. I get that leg up. Feel that in your hips and the inside. Great. Nice. All right, now we're gonna kick all the way up. Touch your hand. Get that foot up. Feel it in the hamstring of the leg you're kicking. Nice. Good job. All right, now we're gonna go put our hands down and kick backwards. That leg up. <clears throat> Good job. You guys are doing great, right? Thank you. 
All right, now we are going to do our rotations. So we're going to feet a little bit wider than shoulder length. We're gonna reach our right arm forward and our left arm back. Reach forward, reach backwards, and switch. I right, try to reach, touch both walls at the same time. Reach back, reach forward, switch, and switch. Good, now we're gonna do around the world. So our big circles, really focusing on that back bend. Look at the wall. Good job, Charlie. Charlie's got a good back bend. Good job, Alex. This is one of my favorite things to do. I love bending backwards. Oh, perfect. All right, now we're going to do our windmills. Opposite hand, opposite foot, reach up. Look at the ceiling. Switch on your own. Do it a couple times. Good. Now we're gonna move on to our lunges. So lunge to the left. There you go, you can do toes up. Try to keep that foot flat. Gives you a different stretch, different muscles. You can move it around, switch sides. Right, start maybe flat, then lift up your toes. Try to keep your back foot flat, the side that you're lunging on. You go back and forth on your own. Again, you could use your hands if you need to. On the knees or no hands at all. Build that strength to go back and forth. That mobility in your hips. Good job. Shake it out. Now we're going to do our forward fold. So you guys do your downward dog. Shake the legs out. I'll do it sideways so everybody can see what we're doing. Shake out the legs. Stretch those hamstrings, the calves, your Achilles. Right, let's walk our hands back. Hang heavy. Grab your elbows, maybe. Keep, keep your knees bent. They don't have to be straight legs, right? Shake your legs out. All right, now walk our hands back to a downward dog. Roll our neck out, let it hang. Good, walk our feet to our hands. Hang heavy again. Put your hands behind your knees, pull yourself down, behind your calves. Good. All right, last forward fold, we're going to a child's pose. This is gonna help stretch our shoulders, right? Shoulders and back. Maybe put your hands to the left side. Really feel that stretch in the right. Switch it to the right side. Feel that stretch in the left. Good, now we're gonna do our back bends. We'll start with our cobra since we're already in this position. Just put your hands down. Look up to the ceiling, maybe over your right shoulder, over your left shoulder. Oh, really arch, this is another one of my favorites. It feels so good, doesn't it, Alex? Do you like this? Yeah, all right, since we're on our belly, we're going to do our Superman, Superwoman. Hands in front, we're gonna kick our legs up and put our hands up. Ooh, that's a tough one, look at that. She is doing it with style, hands down. Maybe one more time, lift up. How did you get so stylish, Alex? You were just born that way? Yeah, you're a good girl. All right, now we're going to do our um, bow pose or Iron Man. So you can put your arms back, you can grab your ankles. Really get that back bend, arch that back. I'll do the Iron Man. Put my arms down, my legs come up. It just works your low back strength, right? Maybe switch it, do the other one. Grab your ankles, arch, look up. Good. Now the last one in the warm up, we're going to 
Hold on, Jake again. Every time I forget this, I think of Jake, because he told me on Facebook I forget this. We're gonna do our scorpion. Arms out, kick back, kick side to side. Hit that scorpion, there you go, Charlie, that's a good one. Charlie's got a great scorpion. Got that flexibility, the mobility of the hip and the legs. Good. All right, let's go on our belly, on our back, sorry. We're gonna roll out our back. We're gonna bend backwards, kick our feet over. To the left, to the right. Okay, touch your toes to the ground. Good. Then you kick them up a little bit. Perfect. Forward full to finish. There you go. So now, my man Charlie, he's gonna introduce the skill that we are doing today. Dancer's pose. You wanna explain it to them? Yeah, just like that. So let's do it right leg, just like Charlie. We'll stand on a right leg, reach for your foot. And this is practicing our balance. So step number one is just get to your foot to your hand. Right, that may be difficult. It took me a long time, keep practicing on your own. It took me a long time to do this skill without violently kicking my foot back, right? I wanted to do it all slow and in control where I keep my knees together, my hips are in line, I get that foot, now I can bend. You can practice the other side. And now I can get that balance So I'm kicking. I still gotta work on keeping my hips square, but this is a constant, constant work. But this is one of my favorite things to practice because it teaches you to work slow, get that foot up, Keep your hips square, right? You kick that back leg back, right? You wanna keep your hips square the whole time. Reach forward. As you reach forward, sometimes you fall. Not a big deal. So again, just keep working on your own out there. In your living room, left leg, right leg, right? Try to get better at certain parts of it. Whether it's picking up the leg slow, keeping your hips square, right? Trying to go flat. I'll show you, watch. The goal is to go this way. So get your, try to get your hips turned. Turn your hips, I got you, Charlie. Turn your hips, right? Turn your hip down, this hip down, right? So you wanna be able to get your foot over your head, and we'll work on it. Maybe let's try Alex, let's try it. Get your foot up, there you go. You wanna bend forward a little bit, so your back is flat. There you go, reach, stay on your foot, reach. Good job. Oh, man, yeah, maybe I pushed you a little too far, huh? That is perfect. I think we have time for one more, right? We have time to practice. practice. Just get better, right? That's the whole point of this is to just work on it. You know, right for me, it's getting it. Muscle stretching, and my quads, being able to kick back. Bend forward. Ooh, I feel that stretch in my hamstring. There's so much going on right now. Really trying to get that head. Oh, this, so Charlie, great job. This is called the, um, I think it's called King Dancer, where you grab both hands and try to, pull. go ahead, try it. There you go, that's very tough. I try to practice that one too, when you reach for your foot with both hands, be able to kick up. That's a really good one. Hey, I like it. Charlie's taking things to a new level. All right, so now that's good. Good on the skill. I feel it in my legs, my hamstrings, my quads. It's a good, good stretch. You get that balance in your feet, your whole body. So now Alex, she is going to run us through the circuit. First we do push-ups. All right, 
do what she says. So we are going to go for a minute. So we're gonna get ready, set, go. Job, keep moving. Twenty seconds left. Whoo! I'm burning in the arms today, guys. This is great. Just do what you can. Ten seconds, keep it moving. Alex is doing amazing. Charlie's doing great. Five seconds. And time. Woo! That was great. How'd you feel? Good. I got 57. 57? Great job. Do you count? No. Man, my arms, I feel that in my upper body getting strong. All right, so what's next, Alex? We do kicks? All right. I'm not going to argue with her. She means business. Alex is all business, except when she's playing. All right, so kicks, we're gonna lay down on our backs, right? Put your hands under your butt. You can keep your head down, or we can look up. We're just gonna move our feet. Ready, set, and go. You could cross them, right? You're going up and down, side to side. Job. Just keep your feet moving. Squeeze that stomach. Make it hard. Look up at your toes, maybe. Pick your head up. That's even harder. Thirty seconds. Everyone's doing great, right? Every time you do it, it's gonna be different. But you just show up. You get better. You do the work. You feel great after. Good job, we have 15 seconds. Final push, right? Good job. Five seconds, get the last ones in. And time. Woo! That was great, huh? 80, that's so good. Do you feel in your belly? Yeah, that's the whole point, right? All right, Alex, what do we got last? Lunges. All right, so up to the feet. To the feet. So lunges, you want to show us real quick? And then come back up, right? And then we switch sides. Perfect, you heard her. That's what we're doing. Ready, set, go. Everyone's doing great. Build those leg muscles up. We're halfway there. Leg muscles are the most important, right? They move you, your feet move you, your legs move you, everything you do. Then it's your core, right? Because that keeps your upper body straight, makes your back feel good. 10 seconds. Get the final push. Good job. And time. Great job. 41. 41? Good. Thank you for putting us through that circuit, Alex. You did great. 
So now we have the last thing. We have the battle. Who are we battling? Ourselves, right? What's the first thing you can control in life, Charlie? The first thing you can control is yourself, right? So we're gonna do lateral hops just like Alex is doing. Just gonna go side to side, right? So count, so one, back and forth is one. Ready, go. Time. 73. 51. I got 50. Good job, guys. That was awesome. Shake it out. So, Charlie, what did you learn today? Yeah, the King's Dancer, right? Yep. That's really cool that you're doing that. Very difficult one to be able to balance and hold your feet together. All right, so we're gonna shake it out. We're gonna get into our second battle, all right? You ready, Alex? You ready, Charlie? All right, let's try to beat it. On your mark, get set, go. Time. Charlie? 56. 56. I got 52. 90. 90. On fire. Hold up. Are your feet hot? Cause, no? Because you must have been going fast. Right? She's got fast feet. All right. So, Alex, what did you get better at today? Going faster, you know what I think you got better at today? That I was impressed with? Your push-ups. When I was watching you, your push-ups were the best push-ups I've seen you do. Did you know that? Yeah, they were. I was impressed, good job. Right? All right, so we have one more battle with ourself. We're going to do lateral jumps side to side. Try to beat your number. We got 10 seconds. You gonna beat it? You gonna try to? You gonna try to get 100? Cool, ready, set, go. Time. 103. 56. I got 48. I went down a little bit. But it doesn't matter. I tried my hardest. My heart's beating. I feel good about myself. That's the most important thing. That's what a good workout is supposed to make you feel. It's supposed to make you feel great, give you a lot of energy. Charlie, myself, and Alex, we want to thank you because you guys are able to help us by being in front of your TV, by watching our workout, by doing it with us. We are helping you. We, help, we hope that you help others by sharing it with your teammates, your classmates, your family, and your friends. And the fourth thing is to have fun. I enjoyed today. I hope you guys, did you enjoy it? Thank you for being a part of this. 
Um, just again, share it. Be happy and healthy people and just get out and move. See you guys later.